new haircut. head coach of the Chicago Bulls, fine player for eight years for the Philadelphia 76ers. He's got a new haircut, too. People who cover the Bulls say he's doing a great job. Harper penetrates back out to Bagley. Rod Williams dumps it inside. It's turned over by the Cavaliers. Paxson, Michael Jordan open for the 15 footer. He has Michael four Jordan. points. Did you notice the rotation? He hangs in there and he has time to play with that ball, get his fingers on the seam and rotate it. He's just, he's just a pleasure to watch. Six to four in favor of the Chicago Bulls. Jordan had 47 points Saturday night and the Bulls win against Detroit. Brad Doherty. So I make that pass to Hot Rod Williams. Wayne Embry, the general manager here, was saying that's one of the things he does so well is pass that basketball. Well, he always did have good hands. Jordan from long range. Points. Chicago leads by two. John Bagley was among the league leaders in assists last year. Hubbard. Let's see if they're breaking. There Backs it on the lob, picked off by oh. Ron Harper. He can sky. He, he not only skied, he anticipated, which is more important. Bagley is wide open. He ties the score at eight. Good sized crowd here tonight to watch Michael Jordan. Charles Oakley is open. Sellers for the rebound. It's stripped away by Harper. Here comes Bagley with a lead pass to Phil Hubbard. Tied at 10. Harper nearly had a steal. The crowd really loves Harper. He runs all over the floor, dives at the press table, going for loose balls, and really plays with a lot of enthusiasm. Yes, he's a big he crowd favorite. He's got, uh, he's very active, uh, if you notice. A new addition to TBS telecast this year is the TBS efficiency rating, which kind of measures the uh, player's overall contributions to the game. What it is, you add is baskets, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks, all of the positive things, and you subtract some of the negatives, like missed field goals, missed free throws, and turnover, and come up with a rating. And we've compared Michael Jordan and Ron Harper. As you see, Jordan, who averages 37-plus a game to lead the league, and Harper at 21.8. But a big difference in the efficiency rating, and that's largely because Harder, Harper uh, shoots around 40%, and he's also committed a lot of turnovers. Well, he's a young player, and he's going to do that. I uh, don't get overly excited about the efficiency rating, as everybody knows. But, uh, you know, people, I guess, like to see that, but I don't. I, it doesn't... Me a bit. Well, you might be interested to know, Red, that the player in the NBA with the highest efficiency rating this year is Boston's Kevin McHale, who has a efficiency rating of 32. By comparison, Moses Malone of the Washington Bullets had an efficiency rating of 26. Magic Johnson, an efficiency rating of 20. Uh, <laughs> I don't care what you call Magic Johnson's efficiency rating. <laughs> I'd still like to have him. Rookie Sellers takes it down. Brad Sellers was suspended for four days for missing a flight. Dave Corzine, a veteran from DePaul, checks in for Chicago, replacing Sellers. Action and Corzine, along with Banks, all former San Antonio Spurs. This is Corzine, as Red said, he has an excellent outside shot. He's a worker, and he's a teacher. And he's also highly competitive. He'd be good. Turnover by Cleveland. Doherty with a rebound. Clears it out to Harper, who's very tough in the open court. Nice move by Harper. Uh, that was a nice play. He used his height. Not really breaking. They're getting down, but they're not breaking. I tell you, this Harper is really doing a job on Jordan, but Jordan will break loose. And Jordan connects. Michael Jordan has eight points. He's averaging... 37 and a half a game to lead the NBA. Finished third in scoring his rookie year, then was out most of last year after breaking the bone in his foot. Played in only 18 games last season. Harper's open at the other end, and he'll dunk it. He reverses it. Talk about Harper and Michael Jordan. Harper actually idolizes Michael Jordan. Well, they don't act like it out there. He's got his hands all over Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan has his hands all over Ron Harper. I think Ron Hopper is trying to prove something, and you can't blame him because he's a multi-talented young man, and he wants to show not exactly that he's as good as Michael Jordan, but that he belongs in the same court, and he could do a lot of great things. And he's shown it. He, he, he's got a lot of talent. 
he could run the court. So therefore, if you're going in for a basket, do it the easy way. Don't do it the fancy way with Adam. We have a minute 15 remaining in the first quarter. Chicago leading 24 to 18. Michael Jordan gets a breather. Elston Turner replaces him. The ex-Denver Nugget and Dallas Maverick, who's a fine defensive player. Not uh, really an offensive yeah, threat. Very slow. Mark West has backed his man down and scored. That's the prize. Oakley just let him fake him right out. Now he wants to get even. He wants to get even. Oakley against West, and he's called for travel. Yeah, he wanted to get that back, and it's very frustrating. A couple of lumberjacks going head to head. Doherty muscles it up. That's his first yeah, the first period from Richfield, Ohio. It's the Chicago Bulls 26 and the Cleveland Cavaliers 22. Rookie Johnny Newman is in the game now for Cleveland. Mark West on the slam. And Earl Curran is trying to get out of the old perfect. That's his first personal team first. I don't know whether the game. Turpin, a good outside shooter. Good hands. You know, we were talking about it. He's got good hands. Looks like he's in pretty good shape, Red. He's had a weight problem in his brief he career. Yeah, sure used to be a ton. I guess people uh, start to wonder, what do I mean when I keep saying a hard worker? A hard worker is a guy who plays with a lot of intensity all the time for as long as he's in there. He doesn't loaf out there. He's good. Turpin wastes no time putting it up. He's got a great touch on the outside. It's what he does best. Michael Jordan and Ron Harper, two leading scorers for these teams, both on the bench right now. Mark West is whistled for an offensive foul. You know, if you make a mistake, you know, don't stand there and look at it. That's the time you really got to get back out there and, and atone for it. Street turns it now. over. Turner trying to catch Mark Price. Oh, what a shot by Price. Then he got fouled. Now you see, when they made that play, Doug Collins, be, because he had something to tell him. There's the play there. He got fouled on the. He got fouled as he threw it up. It's a three-point potential play. Mark Price is an excellent free throw shooter. I knew that. Was yeah, it always worked. Never failed. Williams gets the roll. Turpin. Well, oh, can't really mean that play. He just cleared out a couple of bodies so Turpin could get the rebound. Aren't taking good shots right now. Sellers gets his shot blocked for the foul is called. Oh, no, let's watch it again. He went up there. Oh, he hit him. He hit him. No question. Foul on Mel Turpin. Yeah, that's Michael Jordan also returned to the ball. I have to know. 92. Turpin on the pull up. He's shooting the ball well. He's got eight points off the bench. Two moles of mountain. Michael Jordan shakes free momentarily. He's guarded now by rookie Johnny Newman. Turpin's got the hot hand. He gets Corzine off his feet. Gets again. People get that excited, but in actuality, Turpin has done that many times. Well, Turpin's at all five of his shots. He has ten. Corzine's a former number one pick of the Bullets. They traded to San Antonio for a pair of number two picks, and he really had his best years with the Spurs before coming to Chicago in 1982 in the Artis Gilmore trade. Ron Harper's back in the game for Cleveland, guarded by Jordan. <laughs> we go over him. Hot Rod Williams trying to put a screen on Jordan. Harper feeds Turpin, who hasn't missed a shot. But he gets fouled. He just penetrated the right pass there. He jumped in the air. He's got good hang time. He has good hang time. He's a fine basketball player. I'm very impressed. Foul is on Michael Jordan. Charles Oakley. Jordan. They trapped him in the corner. And he goes into Oakley. Well, Michael Jordan is starting to pass off because... He's smart enough to see when they're double teaming him or triple teaming him that somebody's got to be open. Mark Price, many people thought he'd be too small to play in the NBA. He's about 5'11", but Wayne Embry, the general manager here in Cleveland, says his greatest asset is his intensity. He never stopped working. Harper with a running line. Here. Beautiful shot. Uh, that was a great play because he drove with his left hand and then switched hands. And made the shot with it. Now, you know Jordan wants to get back at him now. 
score tied at 39. They get that ball to Jordan. Paxton going back door. Great pass from Charles Oakley. What a play. Jordan, Jordan made that play. See, they double teamed him without the ball, and that's what happened. They got burned. Two-point lead for the Bulls. Oakley back on defense. Turpin. Jordan went airborne to block it, but couldn't get it. He's a big guy. That's an unwritten rule. Paxton produces a turnover. Harper's up with it. Great play. And he's out of control and gives it oh, right back to Michael fancy. Jordan. He got fancy. He heard the crowd and he tried to go. And a foul on Jordan reaching in. Foul on Jordan. Let's watch that. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, that rebound Oakley. Good help from West on defense. Oakley looks into Jordan on the lob. He got behind Harper. Oh, what a shot. Michael Jordan with 10 points. Jordan has scored 40 plus points 17 times this year, and once he scored 50. When he makes a play like that, Harper didn't get the third. Mark West on the slam. 45-43 Chicago. West has six points. Sellers forces a pass into Jordan, picked off by Harper. Look around Oakley. Great extension on that shot. Mark Price pushing it out. Four on three situation. Jordan. Great pass by Mark Williams. Time out. Oh, he did. He did. He saw the timeout. Well, the Cavaliers have it rolling now. They're on their feet here in Richfield, Ohio, as Cleveland has taken a 47 to 45 lead over the Bulls. He played at Miami of Ohio, and his nickname is Miami Ice because he's so cool. <laughs> he does. Like I said before, he, he doesn't get perturbed when Jordan. See, Jordan got him locked now. He should have got it. The Do the Bulls rely on him too much, Red? Oh, sure. Yeah. Mark Price loses Paxson on a screen. He is quick. And it's out of bounds off Ron Harper of Cleveland. Well, at the beginning of the ball game, we said it's going to go down the wire, and it looks that way right now. Elston Turner and Gene Banks are back in for the Bulls, replacing Michael Jordan and Sellers. Michael Jordan with only 10 points. He's been relatively quiet this first half, thanks to Ron Harper. Fact, as a matter of fact, he just went out of the game, and he didn't feel like he wanted to come out. That's the position. I want to stay here. Bagley. Harper tips it to Bagley, and Harper is open to the 15th quarter. The rookie from Miami of Ohio has 12 points. 22nd timeout is taken by the Chicago Bulls. But it's really a funny thing with this duel between Jordan and Harper. And it is a duel, whether they'll admit it or not. They're both watching what they score and what they do. Michael Jordan is back in for the final 23 seconds. Cleveland I told you he didn't like to come out at that point. If he said, Doug, put me back in. Five seconds left, the ball stripped away, and it's off for the Bulls out of bounds with three seconds remaining. Well, it's just a psychological thing. They want to get that lead going in at halftime. Lenny Wilkins in his 14th year as a head coach in the NBA. Great player with the Hawks and the Sonics. Spent a couple of years here in Cleveland in a 15-year playing career. And at one time was a player coach with Seattle. That's right. You know what he did when he went to Providence? He was a, actually a poor shooter. And he didn't go that high in the draft because of that. But he worked very, very hard. And I've always admired him for it until he became not an adequate shooter, but a darn good shooter. And just through hard work, he did it. And I'm sure he uses the same technique with his own ball club. And Jordan is back in. <laughs> if he wanted to get it at midcourt. Michael Jordan can't get off a shot. That'll bring the first half to an end. So at the end of the first half from the Richfield Coliseum, score is tied. It's the Cleveland Cavaliers 51 and the Chicago Bulls 51. Let's go now to Charlie Neal in Atlanta.
but it didn't count. Cleveland's Ron Harper steals the ball from Charles Barkley. He lays it in, 360 over to Doctor. And then Greg Jordan, pump fake right here, and then goes in, a slam over Tree Rollins of Atlanta. Magic Johnson getting the rebound and dishing over his head to A.C. Green, and he puts it off to the glass for two. Chicago's Charles Oakley saves the ball, but he saves it to the wrong team. Well, we lost that anyway. He was going to Dominique Wilkins of Atlanta for the backward slam. That was our NBA plays for the month of December. Next month, the NBA All-Star Game will be played in Cavaliers Seattle. Cavaliers coach Lenny Wilkins, who has spent 25 of the last 27 years either playing or coaching in the NBA. Well, now let's go back to Cleveland. All right, thank you, Charlie. The score is tied 51 all. Mel Proctor along with Red Auerbach. And Red, we've seen a pretty good matchup between rookie Ron Harper and Michael Jordan, the leading scorer in the league. Harper's been compared favorably to Jordan and Julius Irving. And he said, you know, that's great to be uh, compared to players like that. It's flattering, but he said, I'd just like to be a good Ron Harper. <laughs> I don't blame him. I, I think that kid could stand on his own. I've been very impressed uh, with him. Uh, Everybody thought that it was just one of those things that the uh, kid's trying to make good and emulate uh, Jordan, but he's good by himself. He does a lot of things out there. But he said you can't. You know, come to think of it, I'd like to mention this about, uh, before we go into the statistics, I'd like to mention this about Jordan. Sometimes when you get a chance, if you could see it on TV or see him in person, he's got tremendous hands, strong, big-fingered, long arms and big hands look at the size of it just like dr j and that's part of the secret of that man that's also part of ron harper's secret he has very long arms and huge hands much like jordan and harper has 12. ron harper was the eighth selection overall in the nba draft the all-time scoring leader in the mid-american conference he was also the second all-time rebounder in that conference trailing only nate thurman who had some great years in the nba and harper is much shorter than thurman was he was 6 11 and earl curitan bill hubbard slips inside and the cavaliers take the lead he does that very well Nellers gets around brian doherty but doherty claims the rebound let's see what they do coming down you see paxton's got the ball michael jordan he's inside now and now he's going into the corner and he's going... michael jordan from the outside he's got 12 points uh, i'm sure they're keeping track he's got 12 and harper's got 11. zeroing in on jordan Sometimes people don't realize that Jordan doesn't score that many points. They don't realize that occasionally so many men. Doherty scores for Cleveland, and he got fouled. It's on Earl Curitan. Three-point play for Brad Doherty, the seven-foot rookie from North Carolina. Who, his pick was acquired from the Philadelphia 76ers. The Cavs said Roy Henson to Philadelphia in that deal. Jordan slips inside. Quick hands, quick hands. He had uh, Harper really boxed in. Michael Jordan is very strong. Now they're going after each other. Score tied, 59 all, 8.52 remaining in the third quarter. I don't know why they're both getting the pivot that much. Seven seconds. He shoots seven Jordan and Harper. They're going after each other. He got by him. And we've got a timeout with 8.44 remaining in the third quarter. It's Chicago 59 and Cleveland 59. Michael Jordan, beautiful feed to Curran. Well, that's what we were talking about. Let's do it for the crowd. Forty-four left in the third quarter. Ten seconds in the shot clock. Going to have to pull one up soon. Ball stripped away by Bagley. One second on the shot clock. The shot is blocked, so it's a twenty-four second violation. Sometimes they do it to stimulate the crowd. There's one on one again. What a move by our Nice move. Oakley muscling it inside. Hot Rod Williams throws it out to Harper. A two on one against Paxton. Doherty scores. He lose a lot of weight from 290 to about 250. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Points. 
And the Bulls lead 66-63. Oh, that's the start of a break. Watch that's Harper. Goal pending. Score of the basket for Ron Harper, who has 16 points. It's been a draw so far between Michael Jordan and Harper in terms of points. Goal pending called on Jordan. He scores in along the baseline. He somehow gets it to Jordan. It counts. And a foul. Foul on Brad Doherty. Well, those great scorers, they find a thousand ways to make best. Michael Jordan has scored 40 or more points in 14 of his last 18 games. He scored better than 40 in each of the first two games against Cleveland, 43 and 41. There's Wayne Embry. He looks like a, like a bank president. He's got a great basketball mind. He does a fine job. He backed up Bill Russell at one time on some of your teams. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He was a fine player in his own right. He had some great years for Cincinnati Royals. Yeah, yeah. He played with Oscar Robinson, Jerry Lucas, way back. Good center. Thank you. Rod Williams makes one out of two, and Chicago leads 71-67 with four and a half remaining in the third quarter. Mel Proctor with Red Auerbach bringing you the action from Richfield, Ohio. Good crowd here tonight to watch Michael Jordan, the league's leading scorer, operate against Ron Harper. He's had quite a battle tonight. Now it's Jordan's turn. He's beginning to heat up. He's a little stamina. Maybe he's got more stamina than Harper. John Bagley penetrates. Beautiful reverse layup by Bagley. Three-pointer by Bagley. Nope, passes it up. And settles for two. Hot Rod Williams. He's under the board. That's lazy basketball. Harper over the yard. The ball slips out of his hand. Bulls lead by four. 225 remaining in the third quarter. He keeps moving. Off Doherty's pick, he loses Jordan. Now Jordan's guarding Bagley. Action got shot on Harper. Doherty in front of the hook. Oakley throws up an air ball, and here come the Cavaliers. Doherty to Bagley with a windmill slam. And Cleveland has taken the lead. Look at Harper go after the steal. And the foul. Chicago. Harper may be shaken up. I don't think so. I think he's more frustrated than Mel Proctor with a red hour back back in the Richfield Coliseum. The young Cleveland Cavaliers, the youngest team in the league with five rookies. They start three of them. We've seen all of them tonight. Williams, Doherty, Harper, of course, has played extremely well. Well, uh, Mel, you know, they're not rookies anymore. They've played the equivalent of a college season. Here's one of the rookies, Brad Doherty, on the slam. Big adjustment for them. That may well be. Harper again. Ron Harper with 20. They go into Mark West. Four seconds left. Bagley. John Bagley connects. In recent years, we came to this building. You'd see very sparse crowds. But you think back to the early 70s, they had some great teams here with Austin Carr and Bingo Smith and Jim Jones and Jim Brewer. And they used to pack this building. Well, they've got a very interesting team now, and I think the fans here in Cleveland respect them for it. Not only are they young, but they're talented. And incidentally, you know it's back when he picks it off. Johnny Newman. That was almost the three-pointer. He was running. Bagley is open. He nailed on the outside to put the Cavaliers up by four. No doubt about it, a foul. Got him on the arm. Brad Sellers, the Bulls' first pick. Ninth selection overall in the draft. Had his problems early, was uh, late to practice, missed a flight, was suspended and fined, and he said, I'm going to start all over in 1987 against Detroit. Well, sometimes it takes these kids a while to realize that in professional sports, management, including coaches, don't cater to you like they did in college. And uh, it's time you grew up. You know, for that kind of money, you got to grow up. 
Harper around Elston Turner. What a move. He just threw it up soft. You notice he's going left side about three to one or more on the pull up. Michael Jordan. Now let's see the break. Let's see the break. Michael Jordan. He has 23. Ron Harper has 22 for Cleveland, and the score is tied 89 all. Well, we discussed the beginning of the game that this was going to be a toughie right down the wire. Holding uh, foul is called on Janelle Brees, and Ian Bagley are changing words. Hugh uh, Holland steps between them. Well, Bagley, he won't back and off. And neither will three. Timeout, Chicago Bulls timeout. Michael Jordan scoring off the fast break to tie the score at 89, and we've got a timeout with 8.07 remaining in the game. It's all tied up here in Richfield, Ohio. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. The score tied at 89. He holds the ball that long. Harper against Jordan, and a foul called on Michael Jordan. That'll be his fourth. It's not a shooting foul. He takes it out. Uh, I, I would say this. Now's the time of the game. Same type of contributions off the bench for both teams. Harper against Jordan, who has four fouls. Did you notice that Harper went left again? See, he could shoot either left or right, and he could go either left or right. But he'll go to his left at least three out of four times. Six and a half remaining in the game. Jordan posting up on Harper. Helped defensively from Doherty and counters one game behind the NBA last year. Score tied 89 all. Neither team has scored in the last minute or so. And then traded to the Bulls in a prearranged deal. See how long it takes to shoot that ball? It's the Bulls. And it's 16. Michael Jordan. Oh. He's got 25 points. You need points. a basket, give it to the boy. Bulls by two. Harper back. Going to the middle. Jordan. Oh. Terrible. I think uh, they don't do something, they're going to drive people out of the thing. Phil Hubbard scores, and he fouls on the hip looking. That's terrible. So it's fun if it works in the top of the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan forcing it. He got a whack, no foul call. Mark Price leading the fast break. Somebody picked him up. No, That's no, That's no. interference. No basket. What a dumb play. That ball was going in. Wow. They toss the Cavaliers a basket. It's 92-91 Cleveland. 440 left. There's a one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. Look at Harper with those quick hands. He almost had a steal. And he knocks it away again. He's given Michael Jordan fits, and he forced the Bulls into a turnover. And the fans are on their feet applauding the defense of Ron Harper. He works hard. And you know the funny part about it? He doesn't look like he's sweating. I don't understand. Who yeah. came up with it? One of the better defensive jobs I've seen against Michael Jordan. Harper into Doherty. Oh, yeah, sure. Right. Cleveland with a one-point lead. 3:40 left in the fourth quarter. Harper sags off Jordan, and he nails the outside shot. What talent! Chicago leads by one. Minutes to go. Now let's see what strategy will come out in this ball game. Corsi with eight on the shot clock. Keen back, driving hard. And the Bulls lead yeah. by three. Well, they're Nine. running the clock. They're running the clock. Wow. And the Bulls will take this one and take a three games to none lead in the season series. The Cleveland Cavaliers went cold at crunch time and made just one of their last six shots. Final score tonight from the Richfield Coliseum. It's the Chicago Bulls, 99. And the Cleveland Cavaliers, 95. We'll be right back.